This is the Cardus development board, first of its kind to feature the Amlogic S912 processor. As you can see when you receive the package, just is in this quite nice booklet type style box and you get a straightforward USB to micro USB cable and of course you get the Cardus BIM2 S912 Amlogic board. This is a development board. As you can see we've got the 40 pin GPIO connections and if you're even familiar with what they can do we can connect all sorts of different things such as sensors, other boards and just generally get things really cool to work. If you've ever seen a Raspberry Pi you'll know exactly what I mean. Unfortunately Amalogic processors are nowhere near as well developed as a Raspberry Pi processor. We do have the Odroid C1 and C2 which over the years has proved that these boards and these processors can do all sorts of different things. As well as that these processors are much faster than the ones you'll see on the Pi but that doesn't make it any better purely because there's not as big a community surrounding these processors. This board is also very expensive, it's £100 which is almost three times as much as a Raspberry Pi but the hardware specification does reflect that price such as the 64GB of internal storage, the dual band Wi-Fi and of course Amlogic's flagship. So we've not got much in terms of development just right now, we've got Ubuntu, we've got Android and we've got LibreLex so we're going to try them out, see how well they run and see what you think about it. So let's move on right now. So welcome to the Android home screen on the CADAS Vim 2. This is running Android 7.1.2 Nugget. Now, we've done plenty of videos on Nugget before running on the S912 and it runs really, really nicely. We've also done videos on Marshmallow running on it as well and again it runs perfectly. So as far as like gameplay, video playback, there's really not much to say, it runs really well. So go over and over that again is pretty pointless I think I mean as you can see it's, it's running through the actual menus are actually perfect I mean this the S912 is Amalogic's um, flagship processor so yes it is pretty quick it's snappy and it's got plenty of RAM to play around with as well I mean if we load up um, just a simple browser as you can see it's lightning fast that took absolutely no time at all so if we go to just, uh, the web version of YouTube for example See how fast it renders the page. Click on there. And as you can see, it's almost done. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's just play. Let's say, let's find the MXQ project. Let's see how it will. It just plays the video back. So we've got to remember this is a development board, so although the Android is available for it, there's plenty of other systems that we can use. Now we're going to take a dive into CADAS just in a second to see what they've got available just at the moment. Now this is a brand new board so I don't expect a huge amount, but we'll see just in a second. So let's play a video and let's see what it's like, it's simple video playback. Now obviously if you're interested in running Kodi on this, hang on, I just mute my TV. So if you're interested in playing Kodi on this, then it should be absolutely perfect when it comes to it. As you can see, the video playback is absolutely fine. It's dumbed it down a bit because my internet connection is quite slow. So don't worry, it's quite fuzzy on the screen when I'm seeing it just here. But if we bump that up a bit, it will be absolutely fine. But like I said, my internet connection is really slow. So I don't get very good um, HD streams and 1080p streams and stuff like that. So we're not going to worry about that. Obviously we can just use the actual Android YouTube app if we wanted to but that was just a brief demonstration of video playback and as you can see no problems there at all. So Android, you know, there's not a huge amount to talk about. Games will play absolutely fine and everything else it should be buttery smooth as well. Of course you'll probably come across your own individual problems, it is Android at the end of the day and certain devices do have issues, you know, just like even name brand products with Android built in, you know, there's always a problem somewhere with Android but that's just the nature of the beast. So let's move on to now to something a bit more interesting, let's have a look at Ubuntu running on this device. 
So this video has to end pretty abruptly. I've been trying to get this video out for a good week now. We received this Canas board last week and I was ready just to play around with all the Ubuntu images available and, it, and so on, LibreLeck, etc. And I was totally mistaken and I didn't realise that the actual images that were available on the website were for the original Vim which has the S905X. So I don't know what, what how I made that mistake but there we go, I did that anyway. So I've emailed Kadas and says, well, what's available? What, what can we do with this board? And they've said, we're going to upload a Ubuntu image in the next few days. So I've waited, I've waited a little bit and today they've uploaded it and I've tried it and it doesn't work. So I've emailed them again to see what's wrong with it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully it's just something I'm doing wrong. And we can revisit this board in the next few days, maybe the next few weeks, etc. To see what it can do on Ubuntu because it's far more interesting to me to see what Ubuntu is like on a board like this. So, sorry about that guys. Hopefully we can redo this video at some point. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget there's a TX2 competition running at the moment. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description for you. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.